Hello in this video we will discuss about the blood group system. So let's begin to understand the different type of blood group system. So first we will discuss about the MN blood type or blood group system. So human blood group system is many types. We can classify it on the basis of their dissimilar form. So first of all we should understand about the MN blood group, group system which that is the recently discovered uh, uh, recently not discovered but it is first discovery on the basis of antigen so the land stinner and leaven is the major uh, discovery of the mn blood group system mn blood group uh, mn blood group classification on the basis of antigen on rbc so the rbc contain a different type of antigen so here we will understand just mn antigen so the mn antigen basically is n antigen are present in the surface of the red blood cell while the m is also present as a antigen m antigen on the surface of the red blood cell as well as mn mn mean both antigen are present in the same cell surface of the red blood cell so i hope you make sense so let's begin to understand with diagram here i am drawing the diagram to understand rbc so rbc contain for example simple n type antigen are present on the surface of the red blood cell is known as the n type blood group while the m e antigen contain m antigen contain m blood group type while the both antigen are present in the same surface of the red blood cell is known as the mn so how it's produced it produced from the chromosome which that is homologous pair of the chromosome is allele contain a dominant and recessive on the basis of n and basically n uh, n or m so let's begin to understand so what that means its antigen is the b cell produced against this antigen to produce antibody when we will introduce the mismatch of the uh, blood uh, donor uh, to the recipient so if the recipient is not contain that antigen so it means the our our b lymphocyte will produce the antibodies against that antigen so that's agglutination formation will be occur so let's discuss about the three uh, there are three general phenotypes Phenotypes mean the appearance of their physical appearance, while the genotype means the genetic appearance. So here is the M and MN is the on the basis of their chromosome. So here is a homologous pair of chromosome are present in the individual, which contain a gene. Gene is the allele to each other are present, and there is contain a locus LN and LN. LN and LN basically is the uh, uh, a gene which that is produced the phenotype this ln and ln is the homozygous not heterozygous because both are nn so it means produce a phenotype n so we can say that is the blood group system is the n n mean the n antigen are present and it is used for the mn transfusion as well as the n transfusion but uh, but not into the end transfusion uh, because end transfusion a uh, uh, m transfusions contain a uh, these antibodies against produce antibodies against this n phenotype so here is the lm and ln is the both heterozygous condition to produce both type of m and phenotype this m and phenotype is not useful for a uh, m single m blood group system or single n blood group system because there are uh, a single m sorry and mn why because it is produced uh, against that n antibodies when we will introduce to the m antigen containing blood group of the individual so here is the m n m n is the chart we can you can stop the video to watch this 
So for example, when N is containing a gene father and M containing antigen is mother which produce MN type of the uh, genotype of the uh, uh, baby. So here is the ABO blood group system is basically multiple allelic blood group system which that is first introduced Carl Landsteiner 1901 1901 and four phenotypes will be uh, can be classified and these four phenotypes uh, on the basis of genetic uh, Bernstein explained genetic basis of ABO blood system in 1925. So the 1925 A antigen, B antigen and AB antigen containing blood group and O antigen. O antigen means the lack of antigen, not antigen or more. So here is the chromosome I am drawing which that is a polymorphic gene or 9 chromosome. It has 3 multiple alleles. So it means the poly mean many, morphic mean the form. So the chromosome contain are there are many genes which that ac express to give a blood group. So here is the IA, IB and smaller i gene which that is expressed differently. So here is the gene 1 which that basically contain a polymorphism. Mutation 1 could produce IA, mutation 2 produce IB and mutation 3 produce lack of antigen A and antigen B. So that is the multiple alleles which that is produced. So let's begin to understand on the surface of the red blood cell to understand the A antigen, B antigen and AB antigen are neither A nor B antigen is known as the O blood group system. So why antigen? Antigen is stimulate the production of antibodies against this antigen and collapse the red blood cell when we will mismatch the donor and recipient. So this is the codominance. Codominance means the 100% production of the A antigen and B antigen. So that means IA and IB is equal to AB blood group. So the IA and smaller I is equal to A. Uh, for example, lack gene, lack antigen containing gene is smaller I and uh, one that is the heterozygous condition to produce A antigen. While the IB and smaller I is produce a B while the IB and IB is the homozygous condition produce B. So, we can transfuse this to the A to the A, pure A, while the B to the pure B, and we can not introduce the A to, uh, to the O. So, that means the O is the universal donor. Why? Because it contains uh, nothing. So, not antigen are present on the surface of the O blood group system. So we can donate everyone. So here is the different type of A, B and AB containing antigen containing uh, red blood cell on their surface which that is the differently and that means A can be introduced to the AB. Why? Because A containing antigen while AB also containing antigen so not response. While the A is not introduced to the B, why? Because the B antigen is the different and B antigen containing blood group system is against the A antigen and produce the antibodies. While here is the A, B is basically here is we can introduce the A and B but A, B is not introduced to the A single and B single antigen containing red blood cell while the blood group O is donate to everyone why because it is lack a gene and a b antigen containing gene so that is why it is surface is a clean so it means it is introduced to everyone so that is why it is known as the neither a nor b antigen containing a cell it is universal donor so here is the when we will mismatch the B memory cell produce the antibodies these antibodies will collapse the uh, donor cell donor red blood cell to collapse and um, and um, 
डैमेज द कैपिलरी वैन वैन द क्लाटिंग फैक्टर ए ग्लूटीनेशन फार्मेशन विल बी अकर दिस ए ग्लूटीनेशन फार्मेशन इज कोलैप्स द सैल एंड फ्लो इन टू द कैपिली कैपिलरी इज डिफिकल्ट ऑन द बेसिस एंड इन आवर बॉडी सो द रेड ब्लड सेल विल बी डैमेज एंड आवर इम्यून सेल विल बी विल बी किल द रेड ब्लड सेल एंड सिकल सेल सॉरी एनीमिया विल बी फॉर्म और सम अदर कम्प्लिकेशन विल बी फॉर्म इवन डेथ इज पॉसिबल सो नेक्स्ट हेयर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द आर एच आर एच ब्लड ग्रुप सिस्टम दैट इज ऑल्सो नो दैट इज बेसिकली ए बी ओ ब्लड ग्रुप टाइप इज फर्दर डिफ्रेंशिएटेड बेसिकली बाय अ पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव साइन सो द आर एच फैक्टर्स प्रेजेंस इज नोन एज द पॉजिटिव वाइल द नेगेटिव वैन एबसेंस सो द एंटीजन फर्स्ट डिस्कवर्ड इन इट बाय लैंड स्टीनर इन नाइनटीन थर्टी सो एनकोडिड बाय थ्री जीन थ्री जीन्स सी डी एंड ई दिस encoded by three genes c d and e are present in the same homologous chromosome so the heterozygous heterozygous condition or homozygous condition can be so that on the basis of this mechanism so the allele will be a dominant or recessive on the basis of their gene so here is the e c and d so that is the prime uh, prime important is the basical d while d is the prime importance for the rh factor so here is the locus locus contain a allele allele is the basically both a companion of the uh, uh, homo homologous chromosome of the uh, mother and father so here the gene d has two allele d and small d or large d uh, capital d or capital d or small d have rh factor on this rbc and rh positive or and smaller d contain a rh negative rh negative mean nothing but rh uh, positive mean the antigen are present so here is the donor when donor is donate the blood which contain a rh negative rh positive to the rh negative so it means the agglutination formation will be occur so it is not allowed to and uh, donate rh negative uh, rh uh, negative but rh negative is the universal rest, uh, universal donor why because rh negative is the universal donor further is classified because it is contain a nothing not antigen so that is why it is donate to everyone but o positive blood group system contain a rh factor this rh factor is not donate to the rh negative why because antigen will be produced so this anti uh, antigen will produce to stimulate the antibody to damage our red blood cell even so if the rh positive is contain antigen and produces and stimulate recipient to antibodies Uh, so that means the o positive is basically is harmful for the o negative while the rh negative is the lack antigen and is universal a uh, universal donor but rh negative is required rh negative when the blood transfusion so that because no stimulation of antibody so thanks for watching please make sure to subscribe my channel and uh, support me and share this video to your friends and learn more about the biology